A hearty good morning to all. Page number 22, exercise number A. Write whether the highlighted parts are phrases or clauses. In this exercise, we will state whether the highlighted parts of the sentences are phrases or clauses. If they are phrases, we will write P and if they are clauses, we will write C in the space provided. So let's work out. Number 1. If you want to participate in the event, you have to sign up by tomorrow. In this sentence, the highlighted part is clause. So, write C in the space. Number 2. The entire road had been cordoned off for the rally. In this sentence, the highlighted part is phrase. So, write P in the space. Number 3. The old woman who lives across the road from me smiles at me every day. In this sentence, the highlighted part is clause. So, write C in the space. Number 4. Sunita is a brilliant football player. In this sentence, the highlighted part is phrase. So, write P in the space. Number 5. I didn't think it was going to rain. So, I didn't carry my umbrella today. In this sentence, the highlighted part is clause. So, write C in the space. Number 6. The moral of the story is to make hay while the sun shines. In this sentence, the highlighted part is phrase. So, write P in the space. Number 7. The zoo in my hometown is shutting down. In this sentence, the highlighted part is clause, so write C in the space. Number 8. The results will be announced in a few minutes. In this sentence, the highlighted part is phrase, so write P in the space. Page number 23, exercise number B. Circle the main clauses and underline the subordinate clauses in these sentences. In this exercise, we will circle the main clauses and underline the subordinate clauses. So, let's work out. Number 1. We knew the game was over when the bowler balled out the last batsman. In this sentence, circle, we knew the game was over, underline, when the bowler balled out the last batsman. Number 2. Sarah will be able to tell if you are lying or not. In this sentence, circle, Sarah will be able to tell, underline, if you are lying or not. Number 3. Mr. Rupers wanted to go to the market because he was out of mangoes. In this sentence, circle, Mr. Rupers wanted to go to the market, underline, because he was out of mangoes. Number 4. Whenever my parents go out of town, they leave me at my grandparents' house. In this sentence, underline, whenever my parents go out of town, circle, they leave me at my grandparents' house. Number 5. As soon as Roxy heard my voice, she came running to me, wagging her tail. In this sentence, underline, as soon as Roxy heard my voice, Circle, she came running to me, wagging her tail. Number 6. It is not the ideal solution, but we must do what we can. In this sentence, circle, it is not the ideal solution, underline, but we must do what we can. Number 7. If John doesn't submit his assignment on time, he will lose 20 marks in the final exam. In this sentence, underline, if John doesn't submit his assignment on time, circle, he will lose 20 marks in the final exam. Number 8. Jamal wouldn't want to enroll in this college even if he doesn't get into any other. In this sentence, circle, Jamal wouldn't want to enroll in this college, underline, even if he doesn't get into any other. Page number 24, exercise number C. Identify what kind the highlighted phrases are. Write NP for noun phrase, 
AP for adjective phrase and AVP for adverb phrase. In this exercise, we will state the highlighted phrases respectively as NP for noun phrase, AP for adjective phrase and AVP for adverb phrase. So let's work out. Number one. The last earthquake in the region was twice as powerful as this one. In this sentence, the highlighted phrase is noun phrase. So, write NP in the space. Number 2. The man sneezed into his handkerchief. In this sentence, the highlighted phrase is adverb phrase. So, write AVP in the space. Number 3. I wish I could fly like a bird. In this sentence, the highlighted phrase is adjective phrase. So write AP in the space. Number four. The man in the red shirt works with my father. In this sentence, the highlighted phrase is adjective phrase. So write AP in the space. Number five. The students attending this workshop will be given special certificates. In this sentence, the highlighted phrase is adjective phrase, so write AP in the space. Number 6. The rumors that are the silliest tend to travel the fastest. In this sentence, the highlighted phrase is noun phrase, so write NP in the space. Number 7. I don't doubt your unbiased opinions. In this sentence, the highlighted phrase is noun phrase. So, write NP in the space. Number 8. We have set up the new stage. In this sentence, the highlighted phrase is noun phrase. So, write NP in the space. Page number 24, exercise number D. Underline the verb phrases in these sentences. Number 1. There have been several cases of dengue in the past few months. In this sentence, underline have been. Number 2. Even on bad days, he could not be seen without a smile on his face. In this sentence, underline could not be seen. Number 3. The house will have been built by the time Ruhi returns from Portugal. In this sentence, underline will have been built. Number 4. Even without my help, you would have scored well. In this sentence, underline would have scored. Number 5. The troop was performing when the accident happened outside the auditorium. In this sentence, underline was performing. Number 6. I don't think we have been fair to Jatin. In this sentence, underline don't think and have been. Number 7. He studied hard so that he could become a doctor. In this sentence, underline could become. Number 8. I have never had so much fun in my entire life. In this sentence, underline have never had. Page number 25, exercise number E. Write whether the highlighted clauses are noun clauses, adjective clauses or adverb clauses. In this exercise, we will state whether the highlighted clauses are noun clauses, adjective clauses or adverb clauses. If they are noun clauses, we will write NC. If they are adjective clauses, we will write AC. And if they are adverb clauses, we will write ABC, the space provided. So let's work out. Number one, when the day comes, I will be there for you. In this sentence, the highlighted clause is adverb clause. So write ABC in the space. Number two, where there is a will, there is a way. In this sentence, the highlighted clause is adverb clause. So, 
write ABC in the space. Number three, Susan loves the way Mary sings. In this sentence, the highlighted clause is noun clause, so write NC in the space. Number four, it was my idea which got selected. In this sentence, the highlighted clause is adjective clause, so write AC in the space. Number five, I don't know if they would want to come with us. In this sentence, the highlighted clause is noun clause, so write NC in the space. Number six, because there is no water, we can't do the dishes right now. In this sentence, the highlighted clause is adverb clause, so write ABC in the space. Number seven, the kind couple gave away so much that everyone was overwhelmed. In this sentence, the highlighted clause is noun clause, so write NC in the space. Number eight, the horizon is the place where the sky appears to meet the land. In this sentence, the highlighted clause is adverb clause, so write ABC in the space. Page number 26, exercise number F. Read this passage and identify what type the highlighted phrases and clauses are. Write them in the appropriate columns of the table. Students, for this exercise, first of all, we will read this passage. All languages are a collection of symbols. A symbol, which could be a letter or a word, stands for a particular object person or idea. These sets of symbols are different for different languages. What we understand from a particular symbol depends on what language we are speaking. Think of a language as a code. When you say something in a particular language, you are really encoding your message. Your friend receives the message and decodes it using the same set of symbols. If you two do not share the same language, the message will not get decoded. So much of what we convey also depends on our body language, hand movements and gestures. Once, an Englishman who did not speak French went to France. He found a Frenchman on the street and asked for a restaurant. This Frenchman did not know any English either, so the English tourist resorted to gestures. He moved his hands and jaws to show that he was hungry. Puzzled at the gestures, the Frenchman tried to help as best as he could. He led the poor hungry Englishman straight to a dentist. Now, let us write down the highlighted phrases and clauses and state their types in the respective column given below. Number one, a collection of symbols. It is our noun phrase. Number two, which could be a letter or a word. It is our adjective clause. Number three, what we understand from a particular symbol. It is our noun clause. Number four, when you say something in a particular language, it is our adverb clause. Number five, using the same set of symbols, it is our adverb clause. Number six, if you two do not share the same language, it is our adverb clause. Number seven, so much of what we convey, it is our noun clause. Number eight, who did not speak French? It is our adjective clause. Number nine, on the street. It is our adverb phrase. Number 10, did not know. It is our verb phrase. Number 11, so the English tourist resorted to gestures. It is our adverb clause. Number 12, that he was hungry. It is our noun clause. 
Number 13. Puzzled at the gestures. It is our adjective phrase. Number 14. Straight to a dentist. It is our noun phrase. Thank you.